Welcome back. We're now at the stage in our project where we can reinstall the brakes back onto the car. At this stage of the process, we're going to install the new rotors, the rebuilt brake calipers, brand new brake pads, and we're going to hook the uh, flexible brake hose up to the hard lines. So at this point in the process, we've got our reassembled caliper, we've got the old riveted brake rotor removed, and we've got uh, the ceramic brake pads from Bendix as well as a uh, new rotor from Bendix. These have both been sourced from Summit Racing. And we also have our tools ready to go for the installation. We've got flare nut wrenches, 5 8 inch and 3 8 inch. We've got the spring clip which helps hold the flexible brake hose onto the bracket on the frame. We've got a 5 8 inch socket. We've got a torque wrench. Remember um, when we assembled the two halves of the caliper we did not torque them in place. So we've got a, a torque wrench with a 13 16 socket. We've also got a pair of um, pliers and a, a hammer in order to be able to tap in the spring clip. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the brake rotor. You'll notice on the brake rotor there are not the additional holes for the rivets. We will not be re reinstalling the rivets um, on, on the rebuild. Uh, the rivets are not necessary for the normal running and normal performance of the car. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is install the calipers onto the brake brackets. Um, as you'll remember when we um, did the initial um, uh, assembly of the two halves of the caliper, um, I was unable to get enough uh, um, leverage to be able to put or tighten up the um, bolts that hold the caliper halves together. Um, it requires 130 foot-pounds and that's an awful lot of torque to do by hand. So what we're going to do is install, uh, the partially install uh, the calipers onto the brake brackets, give myself enough room and enough force to be able to tighten uh, the bolts up to the 130 foot-pounds uh, spec. Um, in order to get um, um, enough room to get to the bracket, I actually have to turn the wheel so that I can um, get enough su sufficient reach for the uh, torque wrench. So give me a few minutes and I will uh, turn the wheel. Okay, when I install the caliper, I'll make sure that the uh, bleeder screw is at the top um, and then I'm going to snake the hose around, the flexible hose, between the brake um, bracket and uh, the uh, coil, coil over spring and it will be installed through here. So, um, the bolt I'm going to put onto the bracket is just the top bolt. It's uh, the 5 8 head, so it's a half inch screw. Install the two halves here. Come on. There. All right, now that I've got it held in place, I can get it sufficient um, leverage. Tighten this to the 130 foot pounds. Okay, here we go. Alright, got more 
more time. There, click. That's good. That's a great sound. Now we get the top one. Take the bleeder screw out so I've got enough room. Good. 130 pounds. Excellent. Okay. Put the bottom bracket in. Bracket bolt. And tighten those up. Probably should be using a ratchet on this, but that's okay. Alright, good. Next, we'll take, uh, let's see, this is centered right, that looks good. Next thing I'll do is put in the brake pads. The way these are supported is through the holes at the top of the pads. I put the pads in and use the pin and cotter pin to hold them in place. Be careful not to get any grease on the face of the pads. So here's the first pad. It just slides in. And here is the second pad again, just slides in. Really, this isn't hard to do. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then install the cover pin. And bed it in place. Good. Brake pads are in. All right, reattach re, uh, the bleeder screw. Again, this only needs to be hand tight because we'll be loosening it later as we uh, bleed the brakes. Okay, next thing we do is uh, hook up the brake hose to the hard line. And all we have to do is screw that in place. And put the spring clip in. Put 
the spring clip in first. Tap it in with the hammer. Not hard, you don't want to bend it. Get it lined up right again. Underneath. Tap it in. There. Okay. That's in. Now, hard line into of the flexible brake hose, there we go, and screw it in by hand. Okay, and we'll tighten the brake hose with 3 8 inch flare nut wrench. Okay. There, that's all there is to it. So, not too bad. Didn't go 100% as planned, but that's the way it always goes. So, um, just be patient. It'll go back together. Not a problem. Okay, next thing we're going to do is um, go ahead and bleed the brakes. Um, I've been looking online um, on a Facebook help group. Um, actually found a really neat um, uh, pressurized uh, brake bleeding system. It's uh, actually a homemade system. So what I'm going to do is put that system together and then uh, what we'll end up doing is driving brake th fluid through the system instead of uh, pr uh, using the uh, two-man method um, and uh, or the um, gravity method or the vacuum method. So we'll be pressurizing and pushing brake fluid through the system. Um, I'll hopefully have that to you uh, to see within the next week. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video.